So let's try to understand the problem. There's a target, the bull's eye, and there's a rifle aligned with the center of the bull's eye in a straight line. And if a bullet is fired at a velocity of 460 meters per second from this, this rifle, which is about 45.7 meters away from the target, what would happen is that the bullet would probably take a trajectory like this something like this it will tend to go down as it approaches the target and therefore miss the target now what we have to solve is that at what angle of elevation should the rifle be raised so that when you fire the bullet it ends up hitting the target exactly at the center so what will happen is that the bullet would probably go up like this when it's elevated and the bullet is shot and then it will go down and eventually it will end up hitting the target. So what they're asking us to do is to find this angle and the elevation or the height above the center of the target to which the uh, rifle should be raised. So let's say that this is our angle theta at which the rifle needs to be raised therefore the velocity in this direction let, let's call it v naught which is we know equal to 460 meters per second and therefore your velocity in the horizontal direction would be v naught cos theta and we know that in the vertical direction it will be v naught sine theta Now, with all this information we have, uh, we can deal with this problem the way we deal with most projectile motion problems, that is, uh, make equation in the horizontal direction and make one equation in the vertical direction. Because we, we know that in projectile motion, the horizontal motion and the vertical motion are independent of each other, provided there's no wind or air resistance. So let's go about and make our first equation in the horizontal direction. So we know the displacement in the horizontal direction is 45.7 meters. The velocity is V0 cos theta, which remains throughout the travel time of the bullet. So we have a simple equation that is displacement is equal to velocity into time. So let's write that equation where we say that displacement is equal to velocity, which is V0 cos theta into time of travel of the bullet. And let's call this equation 1, in which case we can move on quickly to equation number 2 in vertical motion, where the net displacement of the bullet in the vertical direction is 0 because it goes up and it comes down to the same level. And therefore, the equation we can use is that displacement in vertical direction is equal to initial velocity into time of travel minus half gt squared. So we can write it in this form displacement is equal to zero is equal to initial velocity into time of travel minus half g t squared and if we substitute the value of the v i what we get is zero is equal to v naught sine theta t minus half Let's put this in brackets, gt square. And if you reject this equation, what you'll get is 2v0 sine theta is equal to gt. And let's call this equation number 2. Now, if we substitute the value of t from equation 1, that is t is equal to d upon v0 cos theta in equation number 2, what you will get is 2v0 sine theta is equal to g times d upon v naught cos theta and if you uh, kind of simplify this what you'll get is sine 2 theta is equal to g d upon v naught squared and we know the value of v naught, which is 460 meters per second. We know the value of d, which is 45.7 meters. And if we substitute these values, we'll get 
theta is equal to 0 0.0606 degrees. Now you would see that this angle we are getting is very small, but in a diagram it looks pretty exaggerated because if you take a very small angle, you will not be able to make this diagram. So, so the angle of elevation of the rifle should be 0 0.0606 degrees to enable the bullet to go up and then come down under the force of gravity and hit the bull's eye. So the learning here is that if you were to hit the target straight in a straight line, the bullet would curve down under the motion of uh, under the force of gravity and would miss the target. Now, uh, the question is actually asking us to find this distance L, that is uh, how high above the target must the rifle barrel be pointed so that the bullet hits a dead center. Now, since we know theta, we can say that tan theta is equal to opposite side, which is L upon the base, which is 45.7 meters. And we know uh, theta is 0 0.06 degrees. So if you take the tan of 0 0.0606 degrees and solve for L, what you get is L is equal to 4.84 centimeter, which is a small distance actually. So the elevation would be very little.